good morning cadets today i'll be taking up the chapter golu grows a nose we have completed the chapter we will be taking up question answers question number 1 whom does golu ask why don't you ever fly like other birds so as you know golu was a curious little elephant and was full of curiosity and strange questions so whom does golu ask why don't you ever fly like other birds so golu asked the ostrich why don't you ever fly like other birds because ostrich was a bird and golu thought why other birds are flying and this ostrich does not fly so out of curiosity golu is asking all these things question number 2 which uncle of golu had red eyes as you know golu was a curious elephant so it was asking everybody strange question so again one of the uncle of golu had red eyes let us find out which uncle of golu had red eyes answer is hippopotamus Golu's huge uncle had red eyes. Question number three: Golu's relatives did not answer his questions. There are three options. They were shy. The questions were too difficult. Golu was a naughty baby. options are they were shy the questions were too difficult golu was a naughty baby answer is the questions were too difficult because the animals or birds never thought about such things which golu was asking so it was very difficult for them to answer those questions Question number four: Who advised Golu to go to the Limpopo River? So, when Golu asked the manna, "What does the crocodile have in dinner?" Poor manna was helpless. So she casually told, "Go to the Limpopo River." and find out so the answer is the manna advised golu to go to the limpopo river question number 5 why did golu go to the river now why did golu go to the limpopo river the answer is golu went to the limpopo river to find out what does the crocodile have in dinner question number 5 why did golu go to the limpopo river answer is golu went to the limpopo river to find out what does a crocodile have in dinner Yes, Golu went to the river because he wanted to know what a crocodile looks like. Yes, Golu had never seen a crocodile in his life. That is why he had mistaken 
the log of wood he thought it is a log of wood but actually it was a crocodile and he also wanted to know the menu of the crocodile for his dinner Question number six: The crocodile lay on the bank of the Limpopo River. Bolu thought it was. Options are a living crocodile, a dead crocodile. Third option is a log of wood. So the correct answer is a log of wood. Question number six: The crocodile. Lay on the bank of the Limpopo River. Golu thought it was. Options are a living crocodile, a dead crocodile, a log of wood. The answer is a log of wood. Question number seven. What did the crocodile do to show that it was a real? So, what did the crocodile do to show it was a real crocodile? So, I had told you there is a well-known phrase to shed crocodile tears. So, that means to cry without reason or false tears. The crocodile shed crocodile tears to show that it was a real crocodile. The crocodile shed crocodile tears to show that it was a real crocodile. Hope all the cadets are meant. Question number eight. Come on here. Come here, little one, and I will whisper the answer to you. The crocodile said this because first one, he could not stand up. Second option, he wanted to eat Bolu. Third one, Bolu was deaf. Question number eight. That is, come here, little one. And I will whisper the answer to you. So the options are: the crocodile said this because he wanted to eat Golu. He could not stand up, or Golu was deaf. So the answer is: the crocodile had bad intentions, evil intentions. So. He wanted to eat Golu, and Golu was very innocent. Question number nine Who helped Golu on the bank of the river? So Golu was in trouble. And who helped Golu? Hope you remember Golu met uh, the python on the way. And, yeah. So the answer is the python helped Golu on the bank of the river. The python could not answer Golu's question, but the python understood Golu is an innocent elephant. And it is going to invite trouble. So the uh, ma'am, your voice is breaking. Yeah.
So question number nine, who helped Golu on the bank of the river? The python helped Golu on the bank of the river. Question number 10. Name two things that the elephant can do with his trunk and two he cannot. So the answer is the elephant cannot do the following thing with his trunk. He cannot use it as legs. That's very funny. The elephant cannot use the trunk as legs. And he cannot see with the help of the trunk. So these are the two things the elephant cannot do, can do with his trunk. But what are the advantages of the trunk? Yeah, the elephant can do the following things with his trunk. He can pluck fruits, leaves from the trees with his trunk. And he can keep away the insects uh, in the river, it can uh, put mud on his back. So, there are many advantages of the trunk. Advantage number one, he can pluck the fruits and leaves from the trees with the help of the trunk. And also, he can keep away the insects. In case some flies sit on his back, he can very much uh, drive them away. And if he wants to enjoy a bath in the river, he can enjoy and then slap some mud on his back also. With the bulgy uh, boot shaped nose, all these things are not possible. So at the end of the chapter, there is a, what you call a joke. A passenger boat was moving slowly in a thick fog on a deck. An old man, rather fight, frightened, asked a sailor, how far are we from the land? And the man answered, half a mile. Where? Straight down. So they are in trouble. Some cadets, uh, yes, for all those who joined us late once again, whom does Golu ask, why don't you ever fly like uh, other birds? So this is the question. Golu is asking to the ostrich because our Golu was a curious elephant and he had a lot of strange questions to ask. So Golu asked the question to ostrich, why don't you fly like other birds? And poor ostrich was embarrassed. What to say? Question number two, which uncle of Golu had red eyes? Now, hippopotamus has red eyes and Golu uh, did not understand others don't have red eyes. Why does hippopotamus have red eyes? So, Golu asked the hippopotamus, why your eyes are always red? So, hippopotamus, Golu's huge uncle, had red eyes. Question number three. Golu's relatives did not answer his questions because of Golu's relatives were very afraid of Golu because at any time he will ask strange questions and they did not have any answers to them. So the options are, they are shy, the questions were too difficult, Golu was a naughty baby elephant. So the correct answer is, the questions were very difficult. If somebody asks us, why do you breathe with the nose, how will we answer? We cannot answer, na? So Golu was asking such questions. If Golu asks you, why do you breathe with nose? Why don't you breathe with uh, your eyes? These are the things which Golu was asking. Question number four. 
Who advised Golu to go to the Limpopo River? So Golu asked some strange questions to our Mena. And poor Mena, she was helpless. So casually she told, please go to the Limpopo River because there are many crocodiles there. So the Mena advised Golu to go to Limpopo River because she did not have any answers to Golu's questions. Why did Golu go to the river? So Golu was really curious that what does uh, the crocodile have in dinner and what is the physical appearance of uh, the crocodile. So he went to the Limpopo river. Golu went to the Limpopo river because he wanted to know what a crocodile looks like and what he eats for his dinner. Question number six. The crocodile lay on the... Please switch off your camera. Otherwise, it is coming in others. Vishwanath. The crocodile lay on the bank of the Limpopo River. Golu thought it was. What are the options? A living crocodile. A dead crocodile. A log of wood. So... The cro uh, Golu had never seen a crocodile in his life. So, he mistook a log of wood for... No, he mistook a crocodile for a log of wood. He did not understand that this is a crocodile. So, Golu thought it was a log of wood. Question number 7. What did the crocodile do to show that it was a real crocodile? So, What did the crocodile do? Yes, the crocodile shed crocodile tears to show it was a real crocodile. Question number 8. Come here little one and I will whisper the answer to you. So, why did the crocodile say this? The options are, he could not stand up. He wanted to eat Golu. Golu was stiff. So, the answer is, he had very bad intentions, cruel intentions and he wanted to eat the small baby elephant as his dinner. So only he is saying, come here little one, I will whisper the answer to you. So poor Golu does not understand the evil intentions and he gets a good, uh, means he has to fight with the elephant, uh, crocodile to release his boot shaped nose. Question number 9. Who helped Golu on the bank of the river? So when Golu was coming on the way, he asked the python, Have you seen a crocodile? And what does the crocodile have in his dinner? And poor python, though it is so poisonous and all, it does not have any answer for Golu's answer, question. So... It goes away. But it understood that Golu is an innocent elephant and Golu may invite trouble. So it followed Golu. Ultimately, the python helped Golu on the bank of the river. Name two things the elephant can do with his trunk and two he cannot. So, 
So the elephant cannot do this with the following things with his trunk. The first one is he cannot use it as his legs. And second one is he can't see with the help of the trunk. So if you have some other uh, uh, way of answering, you can answer it. There is uh, anything you can imagine and write in this. But the second part, it has to be answered as in the textbook because it is mentioned. So, the elephant can do the following things with his trunk. First one is, he can pluck fruits and leaves from the tree and eat with the help of the trunk. He can also keep away the insects. Uh, some insects uh, sit on his body. Definitely the elephant can uh, shoo it away or keep away the insects, flies, whatever comes and sits on the body. And it can have a good bath in the uh, river pond and can slap mud on its back. So these are the advantages of a trunk. So finally we have a joke and the joke is a passenger boat was moving slowly in a thick fog on the deck an old man was frightened and he asked the sailor how far are we from the land and what did the man reply half a mile where said the old man he could not see so he said towards the bottom straight down.